we're Stan Sterling and we're here to guide you through the project portion of the FL season. We will be having three videos regarding the research, project board, and their presentation. We will also be having one video about core values. Today's video will be about research. We'll be using our project from the previous year to show examples about what we're talking about. This year's theme is trash. First, we will talk about problem identification. You must answer this question. How can I improve the way that trash is handled or made? So you should first choose a piece of trash to study, like plastic bags, food, bottles, etc. If you don't know what piece of trash to use, you can use research or prior knowledge to choose the piece of trash. Just remember that the trash can't be sewage or gas. Then you have to think about the problem with this trash. How is the trash causing harm? How can you make the trash be better stored, handled, transported, or made? Lastly, why does the problem with the trash need to be fixed? To answer all questions said before, you must do research on the piece of trash. You need to understand the problem. You need to find out why and how the piece of trash is causing a problem. So you should find statistics, graphs, and pictures, which can later be put on your poster board and also be shared with judges and other teams. Every piece of information found is valuable, so it's important that you record the information somewhere. You can do research with books, the internet, articles, magazines, etc. It's important that you use reliable sources of information, so none of the research is incorrect or biased. Another thing that is important for your research are interviews. One of the project requirements is for you to interview a professional that is associated with your project. For example, last year, for the topic world-class education, we created an educational board game, so we interviewed a toy store manager, a librarian, and a teacher, because they were the ones that are associated with our project and they had first-hand experiences on education and teaching. Interviews are a great source of information, because you get to hear the insight of someone that really knows and loves their job. For this year's theme, some examples of people to interview would be professionals from the waste management industry, Remember that it is important to tell your judges who you interviewed and why you interviewed them. Then you say how the interviews helped you with your problem analysis and solution. During the interviews, we recommend that you take notes or record what the professional is saying so you can refer back to the advice and opinions as needed. You should plan the questions to ask the professional beforehand so you can ensure that you get all the information you need. After gathering all of that research, your next step is to create a solution to help solve the problem. Sources of information are really important. For the highest score, you need at least four sources and they must be cited. If you use books and the internet for research, then those already count as two sources for you. However, it is important for you to explain how you use those sources to come up with your idea and how they helped with the problem analysis. You should state exactly which book or which article helped with your research. Your interviews as a whole also count as one source of information. Another part of your research is existing solutions. Also research why your solution is more reliable than the other solutions and why the problem your team has chosen still exists. Using this information and all the other research you gathered, you and your team can create your innovative solution. Explaining the existing solutions to judges are important so you can show the judges how your solution is different from all the others. That's all for this video. Visit our website at www.stampslearning.org. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for next week. Bye! Bye.